<laughs> How did you get into DJing, man? Man, it all. St- I was actually 15 when I like really when I really got into it. Yeah, uh, I would go with my boy Luis. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. go just set up lights and simple things like that. And then all of a sudden, it started getting to like, hey, like I got this Quintanera. You're with that age group. What are they listening to? I'm like, oh, we'll play this song. Yeah. Throw this down. Like just kind of more simple. Just you know the songs for that era jamming out to like what was it, like the wobble when like the wobble how do first you, came out how do you even get a job as a dj like let's say let's because i always thought of that because i thought about getting the radio not as a dj but when i was younger yeah and a lot of times it's like well i don't even know how to get started yeah like how do you, do you did you like reach out to people like hey could i so did you buy equipment and then just get good and then start reaching out to yeah people? so it's, it really is just like personal like just buying stuff yeah. like you just got to invest in yourself so it was more like okay like i was actually playing on a controller and now i play on vinyl so it, it it gets pretty it gets good uh you just have to really just invest in yourself. You just got to take the time out. It's practice, repetitive practice. It's yeah. just, that's and, how then, it and then you just reach out to people and they said, yeah. Yeah. So did well, you start off doing like birthdays and shit? Well, quinceaneras, weddings, yeah. just simple things Bro, like I'm that. White. I don't even, <laughs> you know how long it took me to like, register that a quinceanera is a birthday? <laughs> Sweet <laughs> I'm like, Sweet. oh shit, that is a birthday. Yeah, but it, <laughs> and technically, but it's like its own party. So it's like, well, quinceanera, all right, cool. Like everybody else gets drunk. The girl. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, a, maybe sometimes, but not. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever been to one where you're like, uh, either, a, either a birthday party or an event? Have you ever been to an event where you're like, what the fuck am I doing here? Like, how did I get here? There's been a couple of times, man. Really? Like, yeah, there's just like, oh my God, like. Like just you, you, you're there, and then you're like, oh man, like I don't want to play this music. Because <laughs> they pretty much tell you what they want to hear, right? I mean, like, yeah, I'm like, all right, cool, well, I got paid for it, so I guess it's all right. But yeah. Most of the time, like, there's some events. I'm like, why did I say yes? <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it like? Is there a part of it that's kind of? I don't want to use the word offensive. But like, you have your own music that you DJ that you like. Yeah, and stuff. I mean, uh, like, do you think it's weird that people are like, hey man, don't play this and this and only play this, or do you like, hey, I'm getting paid, I'm just gonna do that? It, um, I mean, like, I I cater to the crowd, so I mean, I'm always like, just whatever the crowd wants to do, whatever they start feeling and vibing. Yeah, that's what I'll start jumping into. Uh, there's been times where like, hey, we don't want you to play this, we don't want you to play that. Most of the time, it's weddings, which is. Which Fair. makes sense. Yeah. They probably have like a playlist, right? Mm-hmm. This is my intro song. This is this. Yeah, bro. And and it and people don't know this, but it's really time consuming for weddings. So like you have to like I sit down with the bride and groom, like, all right, cool. Do you guys got this? Do you guys want that? Okay, what time is this all starting? What like you know what I mean? Just yeah. intros. You gotta make sure that everything's right. Have you ever fucked it up? Surprisingly, like, no knock on wood, dude. Bro, like, no, I'll knock on wood <laughs> with you. Dude. <laughs> Could you imagine if there's like a wedding? And like the bride's ready to come out and she has like a song, like it's her dream song. And then you play like the wrong one. Dude, I've, that's been like my <laughs> ultimate like horror story, dude. I've like, I've luckily I haven't done it yet. There was one song that, well, there was one time a, a bride requested a song yeah. for the father daughter dance and the dad didn't like it. So he didn't already know the song? No, because it was kind of like their special nah, moment. And then he's like, nah, he's like, play the other song. So. Luckily for me, like on the spot, I could pull music and like, all right, cool. So you got it really quick? Yeah. So I'm like, all right, what song and it is it? was it? the dad that told you that? Yeah. Well, it was the dad but that it... told the bride. Like they stopped dancing and they walked over to me. I was like, was, was everything all right? They're like, yeah, he just didn't like this song. Like, oh, what if she's crap. like, this isn't my father? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought there was something wrong with uh, the music. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I thought it was me. Girl, that's your problem. <laughs> it's not you. It's me. <laughs> I just realized this guy's not my dad. <laughs> That'd be weird as fuck. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, if you enjoyed that clip, click on this link right over here to subscribe to this clip's channel. Or if you want to view the entire conversation, go ahead and click on this link over here to view the entire podcast. Catch you on the next one, guys.